The Jurassic World Dominion trailer hit YouTube and there were some ideas and scenes that I really liked, but some that make me wish the franchise would finally go extinct. Let's talk about it. Hi, I'm Andy, welcome to Screenfire. I want to talk with you about the new Jurassic World Dominion trailer. Maybe you will agree with me, maybe you disagree, what is important is that I only share my opinion with you. There is no right or wrong. So let's get started. If you haven't noticed, I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan, obviously. And I'm talking about Jurassic Park, not the sequels necessarily. Part 1 was a masterpiece. Lost World was a good movie. Jurassic Park 3 was trash. Jurassic World was kinda okayish. Not a bad movie, but it had some flaws. And Fallen Kingdom was the biggest pile of garbage I've seen in a long time. That is one big pile of shit. Why am I telling you all this? Because you need to know where I'm coming from when I talk about my expectations. Jurassic Park wasn't just a masterpiece to me because it had dinosaurs in it or because the effects were groundbreaking at the time. Okay, my eight-year-old me would disagree, but over the years, the reasons why Jurassic Park is such a great movie to me are completely different. The dinosaurs were never treated as pure monsters. Yes, the raptors came close, but I still could see them as animals hunting their prey. Also, the movie covered some philosophical questions and the characters were relatable and believable. But let's talk about the trailer and we begin with the positive things. Right at the beginning we see Owen Grady, that's Chris Pratt's character, chasing a parasol lover's horde. We see typical animal behavior. They remind me of wild horses and later in the trailer you can even see them running together with them. That's the part I'm interested in. How would dinosaurs interact with our animal wildlife? How would they integrate and adapt? We also see a Brachiosaurus disturb some workers at a processing factory for wood. And that's totally fine. Show us how they're causing problems. It's all a matter of how you show it. There's a video on YouTube, it shows an African elephant attacking tourists in Zimbabwe. It's a dangerous situation, but you don't have a lion jumping out of nowhere on the back of the elephant. Those are animals, not monsters. That's why I also love the scene where we see Blue again and she's teaching her baby how to hunt and kill. It felt real, but at the same time it's so adorable. I can't wait to teach my daughter. It's a really cool scene, even though the cold would probably kill both of them. But I can ignore that. Maybe the winter is the reason they introduced dinosaurs with feathers. That would be a clever way to tell why they look different and it would be more in tune with what we know about dinosaurs today. But they probably don't explain it because later we see also a feathered dinosaur hunting in the jungle. If I think about it, we see a lot of different dinosaurs. We even see the return of the Dilophosaurus. That was one of my favorites in Jurassic Park. But even though I love it, I can't stop to ask myself, was it really necessary? Do we need all those different species in one movie? They really pull hard on those nostalgia strings. We hear John Hammond in the background. It's a line from the first film. Almost all main characters from all movies return, even though they don't tell us. I'm pretty sure the female black character who is standing on the ice together with Owen Grady could be Kelly, Malcolm's daughter from The Lost World. We probably have almost all dinosaurs back, plus new ones of course. And they need to be more dangerous and bigger. They even address this in the trailer. Yes, it's cool to have some nostalgic moments in it, but the trend is to shove so much nostalgia down our throat, put a few good and some mediocre special effects in it and wash it down with the unoriginal or sometimes outright stupid story. I don't say Dominion will go down that road, but the reliance on nostalgic moments and a shitload of dinosaurs is not a good indicator. Add all those different locations you can already see in the trailer and 
I got the feeling that the movie will just jump from one scene to the next, showing us as much as possible without focusing on important things such as character development and plot believability. There are even some scenes you can almost feel the typical monster movie vibe. The Mosasaurus biting into a cage filled with fish and sinking an entire ship. A huge dinosaur bird that is attacking a plane bigger than the dino bird itself. And, and of course the return of the raptor chase hunting scene that takes place in Rome? Because I don't know. I'm pretty sure they'll explain it in the movie, but does it really support the plot? Was it really necessary to shoot that scene in Rome beyond going for a different location? From what I can tell in the trailer, we have snow, we have a jungle, a desert, American cities, Rome. I don't know. That all feels like a huge red flag to me. Don't get me wrong. I want to enjoy the movie. I want to go to the cinema and after two hours I want to say what a great cinematic experience. Give me more. Well, I keep an open mind. I try, really. But I have to admit it's hard. But now I want to know what are your thoughts about Jurassic World Dominion? What are your thoughts about all the Jurassic Park movies? Tell us in the comments and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. We also cover video games and shoot real life action intros for every game review we do. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next video.